Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn one more component that is called progress component that we display for downloading, for uploading or for doing some tasks that take background process. So how we can use this and how we can add some action also in this that we are going to learn. So first of all just i create a one stack here and in this stack i say the margin from the top is two and i say spacing equal to three and i just close it save this and here i will take the progress bar so two type of progress bar we have progress component we have first is linear linear progress suppose if i do like this without passing any parameters or property so you see we have such kind of effect now i can say one more type and here i say that color equal to i say secondary like this save this you see we have a different color of this we have another property also so just i make copy of this color is this i say color is a warning and I say here uh, the variant variant of this is determined like this and I say value of this determined is 60 right now I save this so you see that we have warning and determinate type of linear progress bar and you see that this is fixed and it determinates it's have 60 percent task is completed but these two are indeterminates type of linear progress bar now we have more also in circular way so i just copy this paste it and here i change uh, this to circular for that what i do i just use here i say circular progress bar like this so it have import also now i change the name of this to also and i say it is circular like this save this and you see that we do not change anything here but it is circular and it is linear and if you see that so we have circular type of this so about two circular are indeterminates they are just rounding rounding and not completed but this third one is determinate type of circular progress bar that is 60 percent completed now in linear also we have one more variant that is not available in circular that is buffer so i say here buffer type and here i say buffer value also so buffer sorry value buffer also so i say this value is 40 percent yeah and buffer type and you see that we have 4 1 also and you see how it is displaying the buffer type it's showing the buffer type of expressions so if i remove this buffer value suppose i just make it comment right now and now i see you see that it will show just similar to above determinates but by using this buffer value it will behave like a buffer like this so we have four types of linear progress components and three types of circular but this is not the way to use it for using this uh, what I do, I just make all this comment and now I show you how you can link it, it with button. So I make it comment all. Now I show you that how we can link it with button and on the click of button how we can show this. So for that I take one more box layout and I say here uh, two from the I say BT from top I need three space and here I take button so I say button here just to have the event so I say variant equal to contained then I say color equal to secondary then I take on click I need the function I say handle click and here I pass show progress save this so progress bar here now uh, what I do I take here one stack so I say in this stack uh, that uh, I say margin from the x side is 3 and I say spacing to 2 
and I close this one also. Under this, I take uh, collapse, collapse like this. And here in collapse, I have in property. Here I pass open property to open it. Under this, I will use circular first of all. Then I will use linear also. So first I show uh, circular progress bar. And uh, here I say variant is determinate. And I say color equal to secondary and I say value is equal to I say progress so I will take this value also then I close it save this so you see we have open we have progress and we have handle click so we just do this first of all I say const I say open set open and here in open I say use state here and I pass here false first of all uh, then I say const handle click equal to arrow function here I say set open to true like that save this one more uh, variable I need to create so I copy this here I say progress I say set progress and here I initialize the value to 0 save this value to progress so spelling is mistake I think so we have to set progress like this save this now what I do I create a uh, use effect function to make it more reliable so I say here use effect as we know that use effect is for running the component first or more time so I just use it here arrow function here and after this arrow function I have to specify that on the basis of progress I want to do this here I need to make a coding for that I just create a const variable I say timer equal to set interval here I need to pass uh, arrow function like this I have to pass one second after one second it will update the value so here I say set progress remember in this set progress I need this arrow function here I say previous progress value and here I say uh, previous progress value and here I say if progress is uh, equal to equal to equal to or we can say greater than equal to 100 then uh, I need to set progress uh, then I need to set open set open to false like this otherwise I need to set previous progress plus 10 like this save this so it will close automatically after finishing this and uh, before returning then i want to close this so for that what i do i need another arrow function and i say clear interval and i pass here timer save this so now you see that we have make this all and here from the x side we have a margin so i can give to this margin to 30 and I give margin to top also so I say from the top we have a 10 save this now we see the output first time we have design all here we see we have a progress show progress I click on this and you see that it is coming one by one and after 100 it will close automatically you see it is showing the information like this how it is running and we can display this value also what is the value of progress bar progress variable so that value I can display here and I say that uh, progress progress is uh, greater than or so I say that if progress is greater than 0 uh, then I say here that I need to display this progress value so progress will display with percentage otherwise we say null no we don't want to display if it is if it is not greater than 0 so you see that if I run it so we have progress value also here so this progress value we can define inside this circle also how we can do this that I am going to show you uh, that uh, uh, we have this collapse so here I say sx to a position first of all position should be relative like this save this so what I do 
we have position to this and I just put this under the typography so say I am MUI typography and under this I say B means bold I want to display I say color to secondary and under this I want to display this value you see here typography now if I see so it is coming under the typography same effect we have but I need to put it under the circle so for that what I do I put here the CSS property I say position position to absolute absolute like this now I say position to absolute so it is coming here on top now I say it should be uh, from the top it should have uh, 7 and from the left it should have 7 try to adjust this under this once again I try to click and you see that it is inside the the circular progress you see now we can reduce the size also because it's a small one so I say font size font size I say that is 10 click on this and you see that we have a small size now we have to increase the position because it's not coming in right of the center of the screen so I say that is 12 and uh, it should be from the top uh, from the left to 8 save this now try to see it once again you see it is coming now right center but from left also we can put slightly down yeah so I can say this one also from a top it should be 8 and you see now it would perfectly will fit under this you see coming right now in place of circular we may also have a linear you see I have linear save this and this linear will also show the progress you see showing the progress also so that's all in this video like this you can use progress component also of material UI as per your requirement I have explained each and every variant and I have also explained the event handling and the action and how you can hide and how you can show and you can how, how you can use for downloading any data if you want to download something so you can merge it like this just you show in under the collapse and after download you can close it and you can find out the size of the download file and according to that you can adjust in the percentage that is the purpose of using progress component also so that's all in this video if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video